The late game was Cologne as visitors in Berlin. In the Olympic Stadium, 60,000 people there to see this matchup between Berlin in 12th with nine points against Cologne, 10th with 10 points. Great atmosphere. Cologne brought nearly 5,000 supporters with them. We join the game in the seventh minute and it's the visitors with a free kick. Lukas Podolski standing over it with Mato Yayalo. Big Kevin McKenna up from the defence for this one. Podolski takes it, Miatovic gets in the way. Grita with the shot, wearing the captain's armband in place of Pedro Jaramel, who's out for a few weeks injured. Seven minutes later, some excellent work from Ben Hatira, the ex-Hamburg man, getting his first starting berth today. What a great setup for Pierre Michel Lasorga to score his second goal of the season. Made a mockery of the Cologne defence. Lasorga nicking in in front of Sereno to open the scoring. Hertha Berlin setting out their stall early. Five minutes later, another chance. And once again, Ben Hatira causing the trouble. This time only managing to hit the microphone. Stolas Olbacken, Cologne's coach, not happy about being a goal down after just about a quarter of an hour. And he would have been even more unhappy after this one. Once again, Ben Hatira making the Cologne defence look as if they're deep in slumber. Combines with La Sorga once more. And after just 26 minutes, Cologne were two goals down. They'd won their last two games. Very impressive performance against Hoffenheim last weekend. But in under half an hour, two goals down. And then four minutes after the half hour, it got even worse. A free kick straight to Raphael. He volleys it past Michel Rensing. And it was 3-0. Cologne, to this point, had been making all the running. Berlin counter-attacking in their own stadium. But so effectively. Three goals in four or five attacks. The Brazilian here scoring his third goal of the season. Technically perfect. And Raphael using the camera to pass on greetings to friends and family back home. Just before the half-time whistle, another chance for Berlin. Long kick from Thomas Kraft to the ever-dangerous Ben Hatira. Ebert was in plenty of room. Ben Hatira thought he'd have a go himself. Half-time, 3-0 the score. Wolfgang Overlatz, the president of Cologne in the centre of the pitcher, had his 68th birthday two days ago. Record player for Cologne, not enjoying the present that Berlin were dishing up belatedly to him. Second half was more of the same. Berlin, the only team looking like scoring. Lassoga once more, looking for that hat-trick. A couple of minutes later, Cologne, Eichner, and Petschko with the shot blocked by Thomas Kraft, and that was about as good as it got for Slavomir Petschko and Cologne in this game. Then on 78 minutes, to much applause, Pierre Michel Lasorga substituted off. A great game, only there due to the fact that Ramos picked up two yellow cards in last week's game against Bremen, where Berlin fought like lions, according to coach Marcus Babel, but lost the game in the end. Another effort from Matuschik over the goal, and Stoller Zolbacken trying somehow to get his team to be motivated. A very, very poor second half from Cologne. It was all Berlin. Raphael had the chance to make it four at the death. Didn't take it. Got under the ball just a bit too much. 
But the final score of 3-0 to Berlin by no means an understatement. Berlin could have had more, should have had more, and Cologne will thank their stars that they didn't get more. The first of the Sunday games, Hanover 96 up against Werder Bremen. Hanover.